Okay, this is just a short video about um, what's it called now? Kefa. So I've got um, about two to three tablespoons of sugar with a bit of hot water, and uh, let that sugar let that sugar dissolve. Okay, you've got your grains. Got your grains. Got loads of grains at the minute. They're the ones I'm just preparing. Freddy Jack. I've just mixed some um, sugar in with them. So I do believe that they will survive transportation now. I'll bag them up while I'm waiting for this to dissolve. Wait for that to dissolve. Just there, and bag them up for how they chat. Okay. So when you get them, when you get them, there they are now. When you get them, put them in um, one of those. Swill them off and then do what I'm doing now. So, about between two and three tablespoons of sugar in some a little bit of warm water till it's dissolved, and then use your spring spring water or distilled water or whatever. In, in fact, in fact, I'm not sure. I think I, saw, I heard somewhere you, you shouldn't use distilled water. I think spring water maybe. I'm not sure, but check it anyway. And then you want to fill that up to between 800 milliliters, which is probably what you'd want to do. Although I've got a few more grains, so I'm going to go up for a litre. Okay. And then pour. Not that you really need to see me doing this, because like this is a bit obvious, but just pour that in. Some reason them, which are sultanas, they really help the fermentation process for some reason. They really get it bubbling. Now I just put it. I only put it up out of the way because it's in the way. I put it up out of the way. I don't close the lid. I just put cloth over to stop anything from getting in because flies would obviously want to get in and suck the sugar and every probably twice a day i'll stir it now a sign that it's working is bubbles will be coming out yeah and the say to stir it with a wooden spoon so i do bubbles will be coming out that's the sign that it's working if you ain't got bubbles coming out i don't think it's working and that's the thing when i did just sugar with it i didn't get bubbles coming out but when I put the little bit of dried fruit in, I do get the bubbles coming out. So that's the recipe that I follow now, and it works. And in two days, in a complete 48 hours time, it will be ready. And then basically, you'll put like that, like that, and you'll strain it off, and you'll have your, you'll have your liquid, and then you drink this bitch now. And it tastes like a mixture between wine, vinegar and cider to me, but very weak. It's not strong. It's not like... Ugh. So then what you'll do, obviously, you'll, you'll, which is what I just did earlier, you'll, all your grains will end up in there and your water will end up in there. You'll pick all the, all the dead, <laughs> I call them dead, um, dead sultanas out. Then what you'll do, you'll swirl your grains off, swirl them, then put the grains back in the container and you'll be where I started just doing your sugar, melting your sugar in, then putting the water in, then mixing it all together and it's as easy as that. That's just the recipe 
that I followed that works because I've tried a few other things. I tried using white sugar and that didn't work, I don't know why. Other than the person said that their grains had been raised on brown sugar, so and these have been raised on brown sugar, so it's good to keep them on brown sugar. And like I say, I tried without the sultanas and it didn't work, so that's Sally Jack's little package that's going to be sent off into the post today. So they should have enough sugar to feed on so they don't die in transit. So that's gains, kidda. That's gains. All kinds too. So yeah, I hope you, I hope you enjoy it and I hope you don't bitch out of trying in this time. Because I, I personally find them really good. I, I think there's such massive health benefits from them. Unbelievable. Really, really good. Oh, my legs are aching after yesterday. Oh, I stretched them bitches out. But yeah, absolutely. Um, major health benefits with Kiefer. Definitely. Over and out.